Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, the camera angle and the camera is a little bit different and that's because I am not using my normal setup. I don't even have my lights on. I'm actually filming on my laptop and that's because I was way, way too lazy to set everything up. I didn't want to bust out the bags. I'm actually sitting on the floor of my room just because I wanted something a little bit easier. So I know that uh, the camera quality isn't going to be as crisp and clear as it normally is, but hopefully this ends up working out okay and hopefully I can get a Way with using this more often because um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's a little bit cozier, don't you think? But anyways, today I wanted to showcase how I go from a large tote into a small bag while being able to maximize my space. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Okay, so I actually get this uh, this question asked quite often, especially on Instagram, how I'm able to go from a big bag into a small bag while still being able to carry quite a few SLGs with me. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Hopefully uh, I can give you some ideas on how you can end up carrying a little bit more with you inside of those... Um, inside of those smaller or inside of those mini bags. I definitely don't want this to be a what's in my bag, but I still wanna give you guys as much information as possible. That way, if you have items that are very similar, it might help you out a little bit better. Okay, so the bag that I am gonna be going from is the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag in the medium size, at least I think it's still called the medium size, in the beautiful argan oil leather. Currently, I am using this as my work bag, which is another reason why it is fully loaded, but I'm gonna be moving into the Louis Vuitton mini bum bag in the monogram canvas. I know that I've been telling you that I'm gonna be doing a review on this and I promise you I will. I haven't filmed it yet, but that video is coming soon. So it is a huge difference from this giant beautiful tote into something as small as the mini bum bag. But I, I always love, I always feel like kind of Tetris when it comes to the smaller bags. I like to see just how much I can end up fitting in them. So when it comes to the large bags, yes, I like to carry everything in the kitchen sink, but the one thing that I never have to worry about, the one thing that I never have to think about are how bulky my items are, especially if it's something as big or as open as this type of tote, because I feel like I essentially have all the space in the world. So if I have this large sunglass case, if I have this large wallet, or if I have an array of large SLs, LGs, I'm okay. I don't have to worry that it's too tight because again, I have so much space in something as big as this tote. So I know that I have to go from those bulky items or those bulky SLGs into the smaller, more slender SLG. So that way I can carry a little bit more with me. So that's step number one for me. Step number two is I like to go through the bag and I ask myself, okay, what can I live without today? Because you guys know I like to just fit a little bit more and a little bit more when it comes to these big bags. Do I have to carry everything with me? No. Do I like to? Absolutely. But if I want to go into something like this, there's no way all of this is going to fit in there, right? So I do ask myself, okay, what can I live without? I know that sounds so silly. But, but I do that, all right? I definitely do that. And in this case, since it is my work bag, all that work stuff is gonna come out kind of like the iPad. Do I need to be carrying my iPad? Definitely not. Um, another one is my Agenda MM. Usually for work, I do carry my GM Agenda. Lately, I've been using the MM one. The Agenda, he's out of there. Another thing is uh, this large pouch that I am using as my wallet. So with this guy, instead of carrying a, uh, a larger pouch, I'm going to be going into a slender card holder, uh, and I'm just going to go for my bare essentials when it comes to my wallet. All right, next are my St. Laurent sunglasses. Uh, now these I recently got and this case isn't too bad. It's not too bulky. It is a little bit slender. However, the sunglasses are quite oversized. Uh, so instead of going for this case and these glasses, I'm actually going to go for uh, these Gucci glasses. So instead of carrying this case either, uh, I'm going to be carrying them in this little pouch. The pouch also helps the, from the scratches, uh, getting all over the lenses. And these sunglasses are a lot smaller. They're kind of like aviators uh, and they're not as bulky as the St. Laurent's. So these end up working out a lot better. Next is my carry-all. Currently I am using the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Uh, and as much as I love this, and this guy definitely ends up fitting inside of the, uh, inside of the 
mini bum bag, no problem. Uh, I'm gonna go for something as slender as this mini O case or this mini O pouch, uh, because as you guys can see, it's a lot It's a lot more slender. I can't fit as much as I can uh, in this mini pochette, but still, it ends up getting the job done. Next is the six ring key holder. Now this guy, I'm gonna be deconstructing it because I don't carry my key fob in here. My key fob is usually in another pouch, uh, but I do have my house keys and an office key that I have on a separate key ring by itself. So that way, when I do want to go into those smaller SLGs, that ends up working out instead of carrying something as bulky as this, All right? My photo album, this comes with me no matter what. It doesn't matter how small my bag is. This is going to come with me because you guys know that this has pictures of Edward uh, and I also have pictures of Theodore on here as well. All right. The round coin purse. I know that I get asked a lot. Do I really end up using coins that often? Not necessarily, but I do carry cash with me. And when I get change back, I do not like to carry coins in any of my wallets just because the coins are so insanely dirty. They end up getting the interior of any wallet that you have. They leave that coin residue. It's nasty. So I like to have a dedicated space for my coins. So that is why I always end up carrying this guy. This guy I can I can live without. You know, one or two days isn't going to kill me. Um, all right. My phone obviously comes with me. I also do carry the key pouch. This guy I end up using for my, uh, my hair ties, my hair clips, um, and my bobby pins. I'm not going to be carrying my lotion. I will be carrying one lipstick. Actually, that's a lie. I will be carrying two lipsticks, a little tiny lip balm, and I'll take out the other lipstick. So that is the end of the large tote. And I am left with two lipsticks or a lipstick and a lip balm. My phone. I have this pouch that I'm going to be using as a carry-all. Uh, this pouch that I'm going to be using for my hair stuff. My photo album. Gum headache medicine, wipes, Hollywood tape, key fob. I have the keys I was telling you about on that extra key ring, uh, sunglasses, and my uh, card holder. But I'm sure some of you guys are probably thinking, okay, what's the point of having the pouches? Why not have everything loosely in your bag? If you have everything loosely in your bag, you might be able to fit a little bit more. And you're absolutely right. But for me personally, I like to have everything in pouches. It makes it a little bit easier for me to retrieve whatever item I need very, very quickly. If I want to get to my driver's license, if I want to get to my lipstick, if I want to get to whatever the case may be, I just think that by going for a certain SLG makes it a little bit easier instead of having to sit there and kind of shuffle through all my items. Uh, but that's just me. Plus, another reason why I do like carrying the pouches is that if you want to protect the interior of, let's say, a lambskin bag or a um, just a leather bag or a suede bag interior. Uh, by having those little pouches, it also helps the interior from not getting as scratched. So I guess you can say another form of protection, especially if you don't have an organizer or a base shaper for that bag. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what the uh, what the carry-all looks fully loaded. Uh, in here, you can see that I have the gum, I have the wipes, the Band-Aid, the Hollywood tape, my headache medicine, as well as those keys. So there's that guy. I also fully loaded my, um, my card holder, except for my driver's license. When it comes to packing the mini bags, I really like to go from the larger SLGs and putting those in the back and putting the smaller SLGs in the front. Uh, and I really think that by doing that, you're able to gain a little bit more space as well. So in this case, I'm going to be putting the mini O case in the very back. So there's that. Then I will end up putting in my phone. If you don't want to carry your phone, usually I do have this in my back pocket. But just for the sake of this video, um, this guy fits in there quite nicely. And I do have the iPhone 11. All right. Next, uh, the photo album. Now, the photo album, since it does have that little button, that little gold button, sometimes that gets stuck if I put it... I put it like this in the bag. So if you have any type of studs, if you have any type of hardware that might end up getting stuck, I often like to put those uh, at the very top of the bag. That way nothing gets stuck and it makes it a little bit easier to get it out as well. So that guy's going to go next. Then I will go for my pouch. Then I'm going to go for my card holder. Give me one second. Okay. All right. So 
there it is. And another thing is that, yes, you want to have it fully loaded. At the same time, you don't want to have too much to the point where if you take one thing out, everything just kind of, it just busts at the seams either, right? That's not the purpose of wanting to fit a little bit more in there. Uh, but by this, by having it like this, I'm able to see everything at a glance and I'm able to pick up a little bit more space for my lipstick. So my lipstick is going to go right there. Uh, as far as this little pouch, I end up using it for my key fob. And then I have the little lip balm that goes in like so. Okay, so I could close this up if I wanted to, no problem. But I still have my sunglasses. Now the sunglasses, sometimes I like to carry them, you know, on my head. Other times um, I like to have them back in my, uh, in my bag. And because of these, I'm, mess I'm constantly messing with them because I'm going into stores or I'm getting into my car, I always like to have them right on top of my bag. Uh, and it just still makes it easier to move them off to the side. And all right. So there we go. It is fully loaded. I can get away with opening it up. I can take my sunglasses out and then I could just leave the pouch back in there. And once again, you can see everything at a glance. So I really like putting the larger SLGs in the back again, because I feel like you're able to gain a little bit more space in the front. So maybe if you wanted to carry, instead of carrying your phone in here, you wanted to carry uh, maybe more lipsticks, or maybe if you wanted to carry a lotion, you have that option. But this little guy is so misleading because it is small, but I mean, it fits a lot more than you might think, right? I, th I think it's absolutely amazing. You're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six items, seven with the sunglasses in the main compartment, and then you still have those two in the very front. So I think that is, in my eyes, this is a successful, uh, a successful, you know, uh, transitioning from a large handbag. I don't know, call me crazy, but I think it works. Uh, so again, let me put these sunglasses back in. And usually with these, I like to just kind of do this because that way these, um, I don't know, these little ribbons don't get stuck in the, uh, in the zipper and it looks all weird or whatever. And boom, you are good to go. I don't need a big bag, but but there is something so insanely magical about a big bag for me that these mini bags just can't do. I think that mini bags are beautiful. I think that they're adorable. They're stupid cute, right? But still, a big bag, a big bag just completely speaks to me. <laughs> let me know if you guys feel the same way. But uh, let me dress it up the way that I am going to be using it. Um, I'm not going to be using the leather strap um, just because, yeah, I don't. I like to carry it like so as a little shoulder bag. I think that this is perfect. Boom. I am good to go and out the door. But anyways, that does it for my from my large bag to my small bag. I don't know if you would call this a tutorial, but uh, this is the way that I do it. This is what works out for me. Let me know if something works out for you better. Uh, but by being able to go into those slender, smaller SLGs and being able to put them from the biggest to the smallest, uh, from back to front, I think makes a big difference in how much more you can carry in your bags. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to give you a few more tips and tricks or ideas when it comes to going from a big bag to a smaller bag. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.